Hello everyone, welcome to Students Point. This is 8th of July and it is 5 o'clock in the morning and we are going to see 10 very important questions with lot many additional information. So be attentive and be focused till the end. And if you wish to get PDF of all these videos, you can join me on Telegram by writing the channel's name like this. Thereon you will receive all the PDFs. You can recognize the channel on the Telegram with this logo there. And if you are finding my videos useful, don't forget to like the video and share the video with your friends and loved ones. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you receive all the notification at the earliest and never miss any opportunity to learn and grow every day. So let's begin but first you have to answer one question in the comment section. The question is what is the limitation on the strength of council of ministers at the union level? These are the options. Read the options carefully then answer it in the comment section. Let's begin the first question now. Mount Rushmore is located in which state of United States of America? So it is located in South Dakota. So here D is the right answer. And it is known for Mount Rushmore National Memorial which is centered on a colossal sculpture carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills in the Keystone in South Dakota in US. And this a sculpture features the 60 foot heads of four US presidents. These are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. George Washington who lived during 1732 to 1799 and Thomas Jefferson lived during 1743 to 1826. Roosevelt lived during 1858 till 1919 and Abraham Lincoln lived during 1809 till 1865. And this is how this sculpture looks like. These are the four heads of four different presidents of US. And here is the South Dakota located in the map of United States. And there are total 50 states in US out of which South Dakota is one of them. And the four presidents were chosen to represent the nation's birth, growth, development and preservation respectively. And the owner Robinson is credited with conceiving the idea. And sculptor Gudson Borglum created the sculpture's design and oversaw the project's execution from 1927 to 1941. So remember these two names that Robinson was credited with giving the idea for this creation of the sculpture while a sculptor or the artist who created this sculpture was Gudson Borglum. And Mount Rosamore sometimes is also referred as Shrine of Democracy was constructed with the intention of symbolizing the triumph of modern society and democracy. It was recently in news because President Trump chose Mount Rosamore for his Independence Day speech this year. It was symbolic at a time when the US is facing anti-racism protest as a part of Black Lives Matter protest or movement. The next question now. Yolofia obstusa, also known as ground orchid, has been rediscovered in so it has been rediscovered in Dudua National Park in Uttar Pradesh. So here A is the right answer. And in India, the species has been listed in critically endangered list in the IUCN red list of endangered species. And it was recorded last time in Pilibhit in 1902. And this is how this orchid looks like. Next question now. India's largest Tire 4 designed data center was inaugurated at. So it has been inaugurated at Navi Mumbai in Maharashtra. So here D is the right answer. And it is also the ACR's largest and world's second largest Tire 4 design data center. And this data center is named as Yota N1, NM1 or NM1. It is located inside 600 acre Hira Nandani Fortune City at Navi Mumbai's Panvel region. And it has been developed by Yota Infrastructure Solution LLP. Next question now. Consider the following statements about elements. It is a new made in India social media app created by Sumeru Software Solutions and is available for download worldwide both on iOS and Android platforms. This statement is correct and the app lets users make audio and video calls including conference calls as well. So here both of these statements are correct so C is the right answer. And the app is available in 8 different regional languages and it has basic feature of popular social networking apps such as feeds, the discover option where you can follow celebrities whether or not they deserve to be followed or not but this app provides you facility to follow them and the app also aims to promote Indian brands on the platform similar to Facebook marketplace along with elements pay for secure payments 
and elements creators claim that their data will not be shared with third party without the user's consent. The vice president of India has recently launched this indigenous mobile app and it is a new social media platform under Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign. Next question now. Sakteng Wildlife Sanctuary is located in so it is located in Bhutan. So yes, C is the right answer. And the sanctuary is part of Eastern Himalaya Subalpine Conf Conifer Forest ecoregion, and it protects several endemic species, including Eastern Blue Pine and Black Rumped Magpie. And the sanctuary has been in news for last few days. Last month in June, China attempted to stop funding for this sanctuary from UN Development Program (GEF), that is Global Environment Facility in its 58th meeting on the grounds that it was in the disputed territory and this is where it is located here it is located there is no logic for china to claim this because it not even share boundary with india it is entirely within the boundaries of and territory of bhutan even if it will share the boundary with india it will touch our natural pradesh and nowhere china so it is quite illogical for china to claim this part of bhutan and again in, it was in news because China after link claims to Sakteng wildlife sanctuary in eastern Bhutan has recently included Bhutan's eastern sectors to the bonded disputes between the two countries for the first time. And so far whatever the discussion was held between Bhutan and China over the disputed territory nowhere this wildlife sanctuary was considered to be disputed. However now China is claiming it and till now only three parts of the territory was considered to be disputed which were Jakarlung and Pasumlung in the north and Chumbi Valley where Doklam is situated in the west of Bhutan. And there has been no mention of eastern Bhutan or Trasigang, Jokang district where the Sakteng is located in the last 24 previous rounds of bondy negotiations which were held between Bhutan and China between 1984 till 2016. Next question now. Consider the following statements about Kawasaki disease. Now again this question is very important so be attentive everyone. The disease derives its name from a Japanese pediatrician Tomisaku Kawasaki who reported the first case in the year of 1961. This statement is correct and its symptoms include red eyes, rashes and a swollen tongue with reddened lips often termed as a strawberry tongue and an inflamed blood vessel system all over the body. This statement is also correct so these are the symptoms of Kawasaki disease which includes red eyes, rashes, inflamed blood vessels. So again here C is the right answer. And there is also constant high fever for at least five, di five days. And the disease also affects coronary functions in the heart. It often affects children. And there is no known reason that what causes Kawasaki disease. However, it is well known that it is an immunological reaction to an infection or a virus. The disease was in news because in India, as well as in other parts of the world, a new kind of illness with some symptoms similar to rare Kawasaki disease have been affecting children who are suffering with COVID-19. And the first such cases were started to be reporting from the month of April in US and Europe. And WHO has termed this new kind of illness as multi-system inflammatory disorder. In exam, they may ask you that what is multi-system inflammatory disorder? So it is a disorder in which symptoms similar to Kawasaki disease is being seen in children who are suffering with COVID-19. Next question now. Consider the following statements about CBET 2030. Again, very important question. It is a collaborative project between the Nippon Foundation of Japan and the General Bathymetric Chart of Oceans in short called as JEBCO. This statement is correct. Remember these two agencies, Nippon Foundation of Japan and General Bathymetric Chart of Oceans. The project was launched at the United Nations Ocean Conference in 2017. This is also correct. So again, C is the right answer. It aims to bring together all available bathymetric data to produce definitive map of world ocean floor by 2030 and make it available to all. So they are trying to just make the map of world oceans by the end of 2030. It was in news because Nippon Foundation and JEPCO Seabed 2030 project has announced that it had finished mapping of nearly one-fifth of the world's ocean floor that is around 20% of the total world ocean's floor. And please note that JEPCO is the only intergovernmental organization in the world with a mandate to map entire ocean floor. 
द जेप को ऑपरेट्स अंडर ज्वाइंट ऑफिसेज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल हाइड्रोग्राफिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड यूनेस्कोज इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ओशियानोग्राफिक कमीशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आओ विच ऑफ द थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ डेजर्ट लोकस्ट सिचुएशंस आर मोस्ट डेंजरस सो पैंडेमिक काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इज द मोस्ट डेंजरस आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री सो हियर सी इज द राइट आंसर एंड फूड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज कैटेगराइज द लोकस्ट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज दीज आर आउटब्रेक अपसर्ज एंड प्लेग वाट हैपन्स इन दी दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज लेट सी एंड आउटब्रेक अकाज वेन लोकस्ट रैपिडली इंक्रीज इन नंबर एंड फॉर्म्स ग्रुप्स बैंड्स एंड स्वाम्स इन एन एरिया ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर बाई फिफ्टी किलोमीटर इन वन पार्ट ऑफ अ कंट्री एंड एन अपसर्ज एन अपसर्ज यूजली अकाज वेन लोकस्ट आर एबल टू ब्रीड अनकंट्रोल्ड लेट सी हियर द डिफरेंस इन दिस देयर नंबर इज अनकंट्रोल्ड फॉर सेवरल सक्सेसिव सीजन्स दिस कॉजेज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फर्दर होप अ बैंड्स एंड एडल्ट स्वाम्स दिस जनरली अफेक्ट्स एन इंटायर रीजन सो देर इज डिफरेंस ऑफ रीजन एज वेल इन अपसर्ज इंटायर रीजन इज अफेक्टेड वाइल इन आउटब्रेक ऑनली एरिया अराउंड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर इज अफेक्टेड वाइल इन प्लेग इट इज डिफाइंड एज अ पीरियड ऑफ वन और मोर ईयर्स of widespread and heavy infestations the majority of which occur as bands or swarms and a major plague exists when two or more regions are affected simultaneously so as of now the current locust attack of 2019 to 2020 has been categorized as upsurs and the last major plague was reported in the year of 1987 till 89 and the last major upsurs was in 2003 2005 so last major plague was in 1987 and upsurge was in 2305 it was in news again because food agriculture organization has warned india that it should remain on high alert against lo- locust attack for the next 4 to 5 weeks amid the country facing the worst locust attack in last 26 years and if you have not liked the video yet do like the video and share the video with your friends and loved ones next question now consider the following statements about mg narega It was passed in the year of 2005 to augment employment generation and social security in India. The statement is correct. It functions under Ministry of Rural Development. So this is also correct. Remember this ministry very important that MG Narega works under Ministry of Rural Development. So again here C is the right answer. And earlier known as National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, and it guarantees. Hundred days of employment in every financial year to adult members of any rural households who are willing to do public work related to unskilled manual work. It covers all districts of India except for those districts which has hundred percent urban population, and it is one of the largest work guarantee programs in the world. And it was in news because according to Central Scheme Database of MG Narega, at least one point four lakh poor rural households. have already completed their quota of 100 days of work for the first 3 months of the year so now these 1.4 lakh poor households are not eligible to get benefit under this mg narega as they had already reached the limit and overall 23 lakh households have already completed 60 days of work so because of covid-19 lockdown the demand for works under mg narega has increased and in which state next question now in which state highest number of households have completed 100 days of work under mg narega so chatisgarh chatisgarh is a state where the highest number of households has completed 100 days of work under mg narega and it is up to 60000 households in chatisgarh and in andhra pradesh there are 24500 households which has already complete 100 days of work under mg narega so chatisgarh ranked first in this list and andhra pradesh ranked second in this list next fact now the maharashtra government has launched a portal called as maha jobs for job seekers and employers owing to economic situation caused by covid-19 pandemic so do like and share the video subscribe and press the bell icon wait for the upcoming video until then stay safe and thanks for watching